What's going on, guys? Welcome back. I'm your host, Turd Ferguson, and I'm here with uh, my friend Chat Mike. And uh, leave the world better than you found it. That's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. Appreciate the support. I'll see you guys next time. Just kidding. Oh, a Sinister Sabotage. Probably the best card in this pack. I like Gird for Battle a lot, but I think I'm probably going to avoid uh, Mono White. Or uh, not Mono White, but uh, White based aggressive decks. Step Force Mono Artifact Storm. Uh, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know if that's a thing. Can I send you some Dutch candy? Is it's at the moment the best time to send some? Yeah, definitely. I mean,. All I have to, I'm going to respond to your thing and send you the address after this. I'm going to rub my eye first. I'm going to take the Sinister Sabotage. I think that's fine. Ferd Turgeson. What should I eat tonight for dinner, guys? These are the questions we ask ourselves. It'll probably be close to nine-ish when I go get food. Yeah, that was our second bounty. If we could see as many assassins trophies as we see bounty agents. Oh, boy. Oh, I can go get some pretenders done quick. Oh, wow, another mnemonic betrayal. I mean, obviously it's biased because you're going to see... Like, people are going to pass things like Bounty Agents and Mnemonic Betrayals. But I think I still opened both Bounty Agents, right? Eat 13 flans. Why does Channel Fire... Oh, I think you have some... I don't even know what's... Oh, look. J did J. Myers make another account? That's amazing, dude. That's so, <laughs> it's so impressive to me that someone would make another account. Like, that's so much effort to just be a shitbag. <laughs> it's so funny, dude. Also, I haven't written for Channel Fireball since last December. I've been doing my own thing, so I've like, like, really, you like, you didn't like me from like Channel Fireball, but like, y you don't know that I haven't written for them for a year. <laughs> like, what's wrong with you? I want to take Watcher. Uh, we're not necessarily blue here, but um, oh, lava coils. That's a third pick lava coil. You can come to my house and have creamy chicken pasta, broccoli, and garlic bread. That actually sounds pretty good. I just want to let you know that it's been a rough week and your content has really been a bright spot. Hey, sir, thank you so much. Glad to hear it, buddy. Really appreciate you saying so. I feel like it's Lava Coil, even though this does disrupt Sarah's desire to. This is also a late Luminous Bonds. So I'm going to take the Lava Coil. There's no good black cards. There's no good blue cards in this pack. Where's my content now? You're looking at it. You're literally looking at it. I stream five to six days a week, and I produce content on Patreon. And then I take uh, independent writing gigs when I ever get them. For, like, PC Gamer or, you know, wherever. Oh, another Watcher. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, we'll just take Watcher. Can you imagine the effort it takes for someone to make a brand new Twitch account? Like, to make a new account. And to verify your email address. To go through that whole process just to be a, a dick? Like... What's wrong with you? <laughs> like, that's so weird, dude. Oh, the, the the mic dropping the ice clip is fantastic. Oh, all right, house guild mage. I guess that's fine. We can also take unexplained disappearance because we're not necessarily, we're still not red. Can you wear your sweet brown blazer you wore PTO? I can. It's in the closet. I actually haven't worn that in quite a while. That was like one of my favorite jackets for a long time. Uh, I think it's House Guild Major. I think it's just better than Unexplained Discovery. Oh, now we can take an Unexplained... Or Unexplained Disappearance, rather. If I had a content for every content you content, I'd have one... I'd have one content. That's. I feel like you'd have more than that. Making no account control is 210 out of bitch. Nice. Nice. Uh, I'm going to take unexplained disappearance. It's probably better than Guildgate. We could also just 
splash this. It's an option. Got an Isagild gate. We could splash this pretty easily. I'm I'm a big fan of a Grixis. And Demir Guildgate. All right. Everything's coming up Millhouse. I also always think we're Grixis. It's probably just Fire Urchin, I guess. Because there's nothing in this pack. Jumpstart's great. I think Jumpstart's very good. Mesmerus is kind of boring. <laughs> Sarah, why did you... I like that you told someone else to do it. Can't you just... You can also do it. Uh, yeah, whatever. It's Mesmerist. I don't think it's Veiled Shade. Enhanced serve. Yeah, Veiled Shade's fine. I just don't know if we're committed to black or we are committed to blue, so... Yeah, this card's not great. Take the guilt gate. Yeah, it's a locket. Okay. Oh, well, late book devourer. I mean, if we're playing red, we're playing lava coil for sure. So that's pretty good. I don't think Enhanced Surveillance is very good at all. Um, the reason being, it's it's very much a win more. If I Surveil 2, I don't need to Surveil 3 and then 3. Instead, Surveilling 2 is just fine. Or I guess it would be Surveil 4. I'm not actually sure the wording. I think it's like whenever you Surveil, you may Surveil 2 extra cards. Ooh, a Crackling Drake, a Sacred Foundry, and a Justice Strike. Well, Crackling Drake is a thing. I don't think Sacred Foundry is worth much. I think it's like 3 tickets. Two tickets, maybe? 80 cents. All right. Well, that's a thing. I'll take the Drake. I think Drake is totally fine here. Wow. Any Mara. Oh, we Dragonauts? All right. Well, it looks like someone is saying, uh, hey, buddy, you should be in the, uh, should be in the is it colors. Bring in the Fire Urchin. <clears throat> Got an is it locket for you? House Guild Mage is the only black card we even have. We wanted to, the only the only commitment we had to to Demir there was that Sarah was like draft Demir, but Demir thought of that at this point is uh, fading from memory. The Sorting Hat has spoken. That is correct. That is cor oh inescapable blade and a Temple Garden. I wish these were real life dual lands because they'd be worth at least like they're like six to ten. Whereas online, there are 60 cents to a dollar. So I'm going to take this Inescapable Blaze. And then ideally, we're just going to draw. We're going to open a Niv Mizzet at some point. I took this Boros Guild Gate earlier because there is a possibility of splashing white as well. So, like, we could be uh, Jeskai. I don't think this card's great, but I think it's probably the best option in this pack. Hey, sorry, your hair is on point, but your stip sucks. <laughs> Oh, good times, good times. Omni Spell Adept. I don't love this card, but I do like that it is a 3 4, which can be good. It can also play Inescapable Blaze for 3. Hunter in the house? What did I miss? I also like Demir Informant. Are you guys seeing Hunter when I'm not seeing Hunter? I think he's in the other room. I don't even think he's in here. I don't know what you guys are talking about.
I'm gonna I'm gonna take the mirror informant. Uh, I like having oh, leapfrog is actually the pick. I was gonna say I like having a cosmotronic wave. I think that's still true. I took the mirror informant because it's nice to have blockers in this deck. Also, maximize altitude is great if we can get some some piston boys. So is passwall adept. But maximize altitude is uh, I don't know if you know this, but it's it's a spell that goes very well with our other spells. I'll take an ornery goblin. I'll take this guy. <clears throat> Although I agree with having blockers too. All right, well I'm glad we're on the same page here. Caught in a leapfrog, no escape from reality. Sarah, this Demir thing you're on is really, wow, all of these are pretty playable. I'm actually surprised at how con how how uh, determined you are with this this Demir fixation. I think Hunter's dreaming right now. I can actually hear him in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear him. Open your eyes. Look up to the sky. Never miss it's coming. I can't change my username for 60 days, so get used to it. <laughs> Hair on point, though, I heard. That's what I heard. That's what they tell me. Oh, pass will end up coming back is nice. Uh, another locksmith is all right. Locksmith is card I never mind boarding in because they have uh, the 4-3 the is a thing. The 0-5s and 0-4s are a thing. We not staying on fleek anymore, crying eyes. You know we might be. Okay, you may look at additional two cards each time. Okay, so if you surveil for two, you're looking at four. All right, what cards here are not going to get played? Doesn't look like any of them yet. I would actually play all of these. Book Devourer is fine as a four-five trampler. <clears throat> Ritual of Snoots. All right, we're just taking Chemister's Insight here because that is a very solid card, especially for the Is It deck. It's okay. Someone's gonna pass us and have Mizzet for sure because it's very hard to cast. So. Mission briefing. Is it League Guild Mage? I always called them the I call them by their guild names. Is it Guild Mage? Uh because that's what they are. I don't know which one to take though. These are both pretty good. I think it might just be League Guild Mage. I think it's better in the long game. I miss the rains down in Castamere. Yeah, I think that's probably better. I hope Mission Briefing isn't still going for anything, because I just passed it. It's probably like a nickel. Ah, uh, it's not even... Not even on the radar. 
Oh yeah, that card sunk. 29 cents, sure. Oh, we could splash this guy off of our Simic slash Gruel lands. No, we can't. I'm going to take Nightfell Sprite. This card's great. Definitely better than Electromancer, especially if we can get some Surveil Matters cards in this pack. Those are all Demir cards. I thought I said we were going to get past the Niv-Mizzet, did I not? I literally said we're going to get past the Niv-Mizzet. That's a good one. That's a good one, boy. Damn, boy! Damn, boy! He's thick! Boy! That's a thick-ass boy! Damn! I like Electrostatic Field. Probably better than Is It Guildgate. Oh, a Command and a Goblin Electromancer. Yeah, we. I'd like to have a Command in the deck. You can also take a Rubble Belt. Bubble belt. Uh, oh, Hypothesis? Man, now they're giving me the good stuff. This is great. This is greatness. Oh, here's that. Oh, Muse Drake is probably the, the ticket here. Um, so we're going to take out probably Mesmerist. I like Is It Locket, especially now that we have Niv Mizzet. We're definitely taking the Drake here. Mm, take another pass while adept, I guess. I need one cut. Hmm. Actually, it could be maximize altitude. We don't actually have a ton of cards that take advantage of maximize altitude here. If we had piston fist cyclops, that's probably one of the best cards you want to be using with maximize altitude. This Demir deck is really bad. I agree with you. Oh, uh, crab is fine. I like having a crab. Old or new Niv? Um... I think the new Niv is great. I also get the Niv. Um, I also get the. I get all the Nivs confused. Wow, that is a late Electromancer, and I would be happy with another one. If you guys come, if you want, you guys want to give me the other Electromancer, I'll take that one too. I do remember when Wish Coin Crab was the best card in our deck. That was wonderful. Wonderfully sad, but still wonderful nonetheless. I'm probably going to go get some tacos. That's probably dinner. This deck looks very good. 
We could take out the is it locket, but we have a lot of high end stuff, and I really don't mind it that much. I think we might take out Ornery Goblin. I'm helping Wish Coin Crap. I mean, he was. He was doing a good job. He did. Like, it's not his fault that he had no backup, right? He did the best job he could have. Feeling a little hungover after drinking while watching Tequila Gate 2.0 on YouTube. How's Mike? Mike was good. Mike Mike had a little a rough go of it the next morning, though. He was a little hungover, but he's good now. He made it through. Oh, my God. Really? Yikes. I had a feeling that was coming back. Oh, man. We read the signals very, very well in this draft. Can probably take out Fire Urchin. I'm not a huge Fire Urchin fan. I need one more pick. Uh, I was actually thinking the Ornery Goblin. I can board that in if we really need it. This is also 14 very, very good creatures. We have Niv Mizzet, we have Double Watcher, Crackling Drake. We got this guy to finish some games, which is which is done well for us. We Dragonauts. Passwall Adept and Night Veil Sprite. This deck looks great. Oh, we actually have Invent, Invert, Invent. I'm not sure if I love it, but it does search for like Chemister's Insight and Lava Coil. I don't know. I don't know if I love Invert, Invent here. Maybe we can bring something else back. Well, I got six. I mean, it's a two-two for two. And if you can play like a Chemistry's Inside, it actually, I mean, I think it's just fine. I would, I would sooner cut Electrostatic Field if that's the case. And we actually have eight, which is significantly more than six. It's about 25% more to be exact. And also, if Goblin Electromancer isn't uh, isn't good, then neither is We Dragonauts or Crackling Drake or Electrostatic Field, so... Any plans to stream Arena? That's funny you mentioned that. I actually was going to... I was considering streaming it later tonight, maybe, if I have some time, or definitely this weekend. Uh, what does Jumpstart do again? Jumpstart says you can play it from your graveyard. Uh, I don't think I have any Jumpstart. Oh, here we go. We can just use the... Uh Insight. You may cast it from your graveyard by discarding a card in addition to paying its cost. So if I have an extra land, I can discard it and pay the cost of this to jumpstart it. I actually have Arena loaded up here, and I do have to play these tutorial games first, which is kind of funny. Um, I also have, like, absolutely nothing on Arena, um, which is very daunting for me as someone who has a huge Magic Online collection. And as a streamer, because I, I honestly do feel like Wizards should throw me some bones here. But, I mean, obviously I haven't been a huge Arena proponent, and, you know, they don't owe, they don't owe me or anything, so I'm not... A, I don't feel entitled to it. I just uh, it would be it would be nice and it would facilitate my streaming of their brand. So, you know, what are you gonna do? If you sure? Uh, I just uh, God, I bit my lip earlier, and then I bit it two more times after that, and I feel like it's just gonna get worse. Yikes. This actually might be a deck. They don't owe me or anything. Rub is back up and... They don't owe me anything. <sighs> Heavy size. No, I mean, they definitely don't. I feel like it's probably not a bad idea. I might just actually play the Wishcoin Crab over like this. 2-5 is good. We already have a 1-4 and a 1-3, though, and an 0-4. Oh, 
maybe you're not long for this world. Long for this draft world. Best value is doing quests of 5,000 gold, doing draft with the gold for gems, eventually drafting the gems. Might not make sense now, but just a heads up. All right. Yeah, that that none of that made sense. I appreciate you saying that, but yeah, that's a... All right, I'll keep that in mind. I'm going to copy this, actually, and I'll put it in my do this thing. Uh, I did not apply for the Arena Streamer sponsored streamer program because I wasn't a big Arena fan. I still don't know. You're not Gabby, just an average top pro tour player. Yeah. I mean, what can you do? Uh, I don't think you can. I actually was looking for a way to skip it. And it says complete your current quest to access more play modes. And it's not like a tutorial per se. It's just like they, they want you to complete the first quests before you do anything else, which is fine. If they're going to give you some gold or whatever. I like velocity here. It's not amazing. You mean you're talking about altitude? My only problem with altitude is that most of our guys already fly. And the ones that don't, we don't really care about. Like this guy would fly. I don't care about this not flying. I guess these guys would fly. This is, doesn't matter if it flies. This doesn't. This is basically giving flight, and then this guy already flies. So, like, the only cards that actually get flight are, are these guys, and these are the only three that I care about giving flight to. So, we have one extra card here. We have 14 creatures, which I feel like is a good amount for an is it deck. I think I actually just want this. Being able to search for Blaze or Command the Storm or like, I think this is our only sorcery, which is unfortunate because I don't really want a one for one with the uh, Invert Invent, but. Yeah, we can just bring in the Ornery Goblin. I will play the one as a Guildgate because we do have Niv Mizzet, so. Nine, seven. Why not 8-8? Eight, eight? We are heavier blue, but I still want to hit three reds, so. Yep, Josh, already ahead of you, buddy. Already ahead of you. a long time to be waiting cereal is the dinner of champions i i do like a i do like a cereal i like the valley man just left he just peaced out. He was like, I'm out of here. Maybe he was like, wow, his content really is terrible. I'm leaving. God, but his beard's on point, though. I'll give him that. His beard and hair are looking good. So, you know what? That's what I'll... I'll give it to him. Oh, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> That's far for the course. You too. Mulligan. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, I'll keep you on top. Get on top. It's a Red Hot Chili Peppers song. You guys ever heard of the Red Hot Chili Peppers? 
boycott lands. I feel like this the Magic Online is unintentionally boycotting lands for me. I'm actually going to play Electrostatic Field here. If we can stop taking two damage a turn right now, I'm good. I'm good for it. Oh, I see. That's aggressive. But all right. You know what? You do. I'm just going to go lock it here cuz next turn we can go Drake and we'll get like we're getting so close. Man, and now you bounced it? God, this guy's going the distance. Ooh, I'm going to watch her here. And then we're going to try to Niv-Mizzet next turn by hitting a Blueland. No Blueland. You can go in the graveyard. Do I just want this guy? Yeah, this is too good. We can wait. We can wait a turn to not Niv-Miz here. God, they put us to 10, though, with one Sonic Assault and one Fresh Face Recruit. That's pretty obnoxious. And we could always have... Why are we calling him Steve? I don't understand why we're calling him Steve. I didn't get that. I just want to understand, that's all. Yikes. I will block. <laughs> oh. Really? Yeah, that's a, that's that's a trade, good buddy. I'm definitely not taking four four, four against the aggressive is it deck. I will like to hit a land here. Oh, we did not. So, all right, that's fine. We could have played two things. I, I, I don't know why. Yeah, I just got. Gotta... If they want a Sonic Assault here, though, they have two cards in hand. So to Sonic Assault, they have to have one. They gotta go to one, one card that is. Yep. All right. So gravitic punch in the grave. I would like to hit a land here. <laughs> All right. Well, we could play two creatures that block this guy quite well, which I think we're gonna do. This guy and uh, this little. I want to attack for one. I think two blockers is probably gonna be enough. Oh, that's famous last words right there, isn't it? I would like to hit a land here. The Franklin Forest story is just fantastic. Okay, that guy's dead. That guy's dead. They have no cards in hand, I guess. That's good. Steve. Steve Mizzet. Command the storm. Okay. Well, you know what's happening right now? They have no cards. I think we're good. I didn't attack there because... Come on, man. I can't. Here comes Mountain. <sighs> Explain it to me like I'm a child.
You <laughs> should have done 9-7. Oh, boy. The irony. They're like, oh, you want even lands, huh? How about one, two, three, four, five? How about six? We have drawn six mountains to one island. I want to play a land if we draw it. So I'm just going to play this now. Yeah, this seems fine. Killing this guy, just getting him off the board is just great. They have Gravitic Punch. Okay. Niv, Mizzet, in route. Okay. That guy's not getting anybody. Do we have anything in the graveyard that we can cast? I don't think so. All right, so I have two cards in hand. Gravitic Punch for three. We got a five. That feels okay. I don't dislike it. No, sir. I don't dislike it. Um, probably gonna lava coil this guy. Oh, it's whenever you draw a card. Actually, we don't have to do that. We can just do this. Then we can chemistry's insight. All right, hope they can't deal five to us. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. All right, we did it. So they got the aggressive Boros deck. Where's my life gain cards? Uh, it's actually the aggressive is it deck, I guess. <laughs> Guy in the chat, I get it, buddy. You don't want me to attack with the Drake. I felt like two creatures was safe enough, and they only had a two one out. I think I think it was fine. I think it was justifiable. I'm sorry you got so angry. I don't think. Well, no, that was definitely. Uh, That was definitely just the way the way it worked. I don't think we need to actually remove a mountain and add an island. <sighs> like we want to be able to hit like we want to hit any one of these three on turn two, right? Like on turn two, we want we have three blue, three red, and three blue and red. We do need more blue in the later game, but we also want an equal amount of red. So I think we're definitely sticking with them. <laughs> don't do it again. All right, I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep it in mind. I don't think we want anything else here. I think our I think our deck is fine.
definitely keeping this boy. This hand's pretty great. I feel like we might even want Night Vale Sprite first. They're going to play a fresh face scouty scouty mix scouter pants. Uh, that's also the original, the initial deck list that is not uh, the updated deck list. So this doesn't actually do anything yet. I'd rather save this for late game. This does have an immediate impact. So we're definitely just going to play the one, two. Okay. Mm, graveyard. I don't think we need either of these, to be honest. And I'm not going to block either of these. So we're just going to attack here. Yep, you can stay. Time needs to enter a great stream. If you haven't seen it yet, I sent you a new deck list and a stream. Monsanto, I did see it. I appreciate it. I will respond to you uh, as soon as I get done, or I can. Have a good dinner, buddy. Really appreciate you hanging out. Always a pleasure. One, three, floaty boy. We can, also, we can play Wee Dragonauts, or we can just play two guys this turn. I think actually playing a 1-3 is probably better, but we're going to attack and scry here. And by scry, I mean surveil. Um, I'm going to put that on top. We have a lot of uh, ways to make sure we don't draw lands in the future. Oh, all right. No blocks. I like it. Yep, that's a big boy. So this guy's probably going to get the buff. The Shia LaBeouf. Which means we can block here and then... Man, Dazzling Light would be pretty busted here. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We go to ten. I have three cards still. We could also just go block here, block here, and then take five. Josh, have a good night, buddy. Always appreciate it. Guy in the chat, you're very helpful, buddy. Very helpful. I think we're just taking six and trading with this idiot. I assume we'll get rid of the Wee Dragonauts, which is fine. The next turn we can play Watcher.
Oh, they did not get rid of the Wii Dragonauts. That's nice. So ideally, we're going to just put Niv-Mizzet on top and then play that next turn. And bottom. Maybe we just keep Blaze? Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm not gonna attack here. Do you think Dark Confidant will see play in Modern? What does that mean? It's like not like Modern's a new format or Dark Confidant's a new card, right? We have not seen their Niv Mizzet yet, that's true. <sighs> It's also a third of their life total. We can just aim it at their face. Like new players do sometimes. Oh my god. Double barging sergeant? Ugh. Let's try again. Try again. Try, try again. Trade a Wee Dragonauts for a Barging Sergeant again. Sure, we'll go to eight. Probably going to kill this dude with a Blaze of Blaze of Blaze, 420 Blazem. Or we can play two guys, but that doesn't feel as safe. I do actually want to attack here because I want to see what we're getting. That actually is pretty okay. Yeah, I like that because next turn it gives us a good turn to do a bunch of things with. If we play the two dudes now, we're just literally chump blocking this guy with one of them, and or we take four, um, which I'm not a big fan of. I'd much rather play this guy, this guy, and unsuspecting blockity block. Oh, no attacks, which is very, very nice. Okay. It's Saturday night. Who do you target? Probably the bird. Okay. Well, this is actually nice because I'm going to actually kill the bird in response. Because now we can bounce this guy, which is definitely better. I think it just started raining like crazy, dude. Uh, graveyard. How was your week? Pretty all right. It was pretty all right. No complaints. Yeah, it's raining like mad right now. I guess I waited too long to get food, guys. I waited too long to get the food. And graveyard again. 
All right. This is interesting because you can't actually cast any of the things in your graveyard. Okay, direct current. I guess if you draw, if you play a land, you can. So you land direct current. And you discard the last card in your hand. What did you actually target? Do you have to target something with that? No, I guess not, right? No, you have to do, you have to, you may cast. What did they choose? Oh, choose a direct current, sure. So they could direct current. Kill one of these two. Definitely this guy. And then they have one card in hand. That seems fine. Oh my god, they went face. Fascinating. Oh, it's Saturday night. They miss it. Command the storm. Well, they have no more command the storm, so that's nice. Lava coil. Um, that's actually not bad because we can actually put Lava Coil on top, draw a card, and cast it this turn. I like that. Yeah, in Florida it rains every day. seems good Wow, this is aggressive. Oh, why didn't they target the Beam Splitter Mage? Oh, that was a misplay. Yikes. Why wouldn't it copy? Whenever you cast a spell that targets only Beam Splitter Mage. Oh, it's two targets. I guess that's okay. That makes sense. I feel like I should probably start attacking with other creatures at this point. Graveyard. Like we want, we can't really give them that much more time, I don't think. Is this game two or game three? I feel like we won game one with uh, Niv Mizzet. Mother, can I get another amen? Oh. Hey, 
it's Saturday and I really don't like that song but it's stuck in my head for some reason so I guess we're getting demonetized yeah there's no real way I can destroy this I guess we can command this guy in response so they don't get a copy of it that's probably what we're gonna do actually this guy's probably better Because this guy just straight up dies to miss it, so. I'm pretty sure it's uh, Panic at the Disco, right? Yeah, it's Panic at the Disco. Really? I will double block this guy 1,000% of the time. You have no cards in hand? Deal. So long, Guild Mage. Niv miss it off the top. One time. Oh, it's Friday night. It's a good point. It is Friday night. I don't know how things work. Uh, I don't want either of these guys. Because they're not Niv Mizzet. It's not my boy. Nivels McMizzles. I actually do want to keep that. I'm also going to play this land, and the reason being, if we crack this next turn, um, we can play a land... And we're going to have Sinister Sabotage up, which is very, very nice. Yep. Sonic Assault, tap my blocker, and you got Gravitic Punch. Must be nice. They don't have any cards, though. Actually, no, no, we're, we're still alive. Alright, we're still alive. Oh my god. Definitely keeping that. I hope they use Sonic Assault here, not Gravitic Punch. Uh, keep you on top. We are surprisingly not dead yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen lands. I'm going to keep you on top just because it guarantees us not hitting a land. So if they go discard their only card to Gravitic Punch us. We actually have no reason to not play this. We can't discard a land with hypno, hypno, Hypothesizzle. You haven't drawn 13 lands most of those in the... Yeah, yeah, and I'm, I didn't say we drew 13 lands, right? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm just trying to count the number of lands that are left in our deck to make sure we can hit with Hypothesizzle. One time, not two lands. Does this still work? I don't even know if this still works. Yes! Yes! Alright, we're still alive. This is amazing. This is a game, boys. Actually... Do we insight first? No, we definitely play this. 
Electrostatic field doesn't do anything for us. Neither does the land. Both can go in the graveyard. And graveyard again. I think that's all the lands we have. Right? One, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, twenty, fifteen, sixteen. There's one land in our deck. And three cards. We also have lethal on board. So, as long as they can't deal us two damage here, don't top deck a Sonic Strike. Is that what it's called? Sonic Assault. Oh, Niv might be the bottom. Is Niv the bottom card? Did we did we scry it to the bottom? Are we typing good games? We have seven damage on board. Oh, I'm just speculating. Yeah, probably the bottom card. Oof. Let's. Fo oh, it was literally the next card. So we would have drawn that with. Uh, we would have drawn these two with Chemister's Insight. For the turn, we would have drawn Muse Drake. One, two, three, four, five, six. We could have actually played. Well, we wouldn't have land. So. Eh. Our deck is sweet. Oof. Yeah, that was only game two. I will keep this hand. I like the even distribution of uh, islands and mountains here. That's nice. Turn off stream and I'll see you in a bit. Oh, are we are we playing? Is this you? Either way, I will see you in a bit. This is me. Okay, a big gazebo is atomic frog. Well, you've seen my entire deck, you big cheater. I'll keep. Oh, it's Saturday night. Fix the curtain. Where's which one? Oh, over here. Did you get it? No? I should get like a big stick. Just push it. Like, like salt and pepper. You guys remember Push It? He did pre-ghost. What a pre-ghoster. Don't play anything on turn two. It's not even a good turn. Oh, that was a good draw. I want to play this guy. It's better in the early game, and this is better in the late game, so. You should get a big stick, then walk softly. That's, uh, that is a classic. I should have had me in stream or anything. Oh, wow. Look at you. Good games. The last game you were down stream of me in the pod. Also, only reason. Uh, yeah. A swan like neck. Good games. Good games. I wasn't actually sure if that was game two or three. I lost track. So. 
Yurik is very good, by the way. Uh, only reason I tried to make Is It work was pack one, pick one. Is yeah, I I actually uh, we were in Is It and then we got past a uh, what do you call it? A dude, a floaty boy, a Niv Mizzet in pack three, which was great. Oh, pack one, pick one. Ral seems very good, very good. I really don't want to waste a lava coil on this thing. I also really don't want to bounce it. Whatever. We'll play the lake. We'll play the lake. We'll play the long game. I'm fine with that. Ooh, it's crackling drag. I'm gonna put this guy in the graveyard. I'll keep you on top. Crackling drag, a big fat O4 flyer, but it gets bigger. We have three cards in our hand. That used to be my nickname and no, no it wasn't. <laughs> oh, the old barrier of bones, a classic. Oh, they missed two land drops. Atomic Frog, what's it like to get wrecked? You stupid nerd. <laughs> Got him. That was a good spell. Well, I missed the land drop as well, but you know what? It's fine. I'm doing better. Oh, that guy. That guy's been hired to poison. That's no good. Oh, it's -da -da -da. now we're just gonna lava coil this guy. I don't feel like losing one of my guys. Plus, it gives us a good amount of pressure. Pressure. We could also just play League Guild Mage and turn the counter spell down. Turn down for what? Would you say? You gave me the curb curves cures, the cures. Glad to help. <laughs> Uh, it's always nice to cure a friend. There you go. There you go. You hit your little landies. And now, now we're coming to get you. I got the team. The Is It League. It's like the Human League, but different. You guys familiar with the Human League from, uh, it's a band from the 80s? Yeah, I don't care about you. Never does it happen. <laughs> well, you know what they say. Sometimes he doesn't have it. But often he never doesn't have it. I know you've said that you don't think any one guild is the best, but do you think the two guilds, any two guilds have significantly stronger synergy than the others? I think Is It has this I think Is It has very, very strong synergy. I think Is It is almost based on synergy. Ten calls pre ghost never looks at subs decks when we post them bits. I don't. If you guys post them, I actually never look because Oh, calls pre ghost never looks at yeah, okay. So you guys post them and then I'm like, you don't ghost me. And then I still don't look at your deck even though you give me the Yeah, I do that. That's fine. Um I don't know if there's a second guild. I think maybe I actually don't think So I think Sultai actually has great synergy. Yeah, like Domir and Golgari, I don't think individually have great synergy, but I think the Sultai uh class uh, shard K clan has good synergy because you want to be able to surveil some of your creatures into the graveyard to make the undergrowth cards good like when I'm just playing Golgari by itself I often find like I have one or two creatures in the graveyard when I play like something like Golgari Raiders and it's a 2-2 two -two for 4 and it's just like no dude so I think but together with surveil and most of the surveil cards are obviously Demir um I think you're in a good I think you got a good combination there. So I would say is it by itself or Saltai 
as a as a clan. Don't you want me, baby? Don't you want me? Oh, you were working as a way. It's not the. That's a pet shop boys. That's not the human league, right? Uh, no blocks. I'll take two damage to my brain. Oh, I probably gotta kill that. Keep up sabotage, I guess. Gonna tell you all the sabotage. Is that the human league? That is the human league. Oh man, in my face. I don't want to play the wall because then this guy immediately becomes a 2 2 when they surveil next turn. Yep. I'm also probably going to bounce this guy so we can hit a land drop. Ideally, it will be a red land. Uh, you can go to the graveyard. It's your boy. It's your uncastable boy. Wish I had a land here. A land would be great, but... And we'll give him a turn. East End Boys and West End Girls. West End Girls. Boom, 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 boom. Yep, hoping for a land there so we could either play this guy or both of these, but uh, magic is... It's not having it. No blocks. There we go. We did it. This guy should have reach, right? Right? I don't know. Six lands in a row incoming? I mean, we have Nim Mizzet. I'd, I'd be alright with it. I would even be tempted to play this guy on eight just so we can keep up the sabotage, but we'd have to have... Uh, boy. Alright, we're just going to run this guy out there because we have to. Yep, had a feeling. Yep, that is just a sadness. Trade. Trade me. How dare you. Oh yeah, alright. Put him down. I mean, any land now begets future lands with Watcher in the Mist. Okay. No surveilling to be had here. F 
four cards. I feel like our four cards are better. This guy. Wow, you just have infinite counter spells, don't you? Don't you, buddy? Don't you just have infinite counter spells? Okay. Never doesn't have it. 100% <laughs> of the time, they have it every time. Oh, would you look at that? I mean, we could hope they don't see this. Dang it. They saw it. Wow. Oh boy. Six mana mythics dot decks over here. Yikes. This is pretty brutal. Yeah, so they get to eat this guy and attack for seven next turn. Yeah, we're going to the next game. This guy has having... Yeah, that's pretty stupid. Guess I didn't expect you to have the six mana mythic guy. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, it's rough, because, like, they definitely know we have Sinister Sabotage. They know we have Niv-Mizzet, so they can save their removal for it. Like, there's tons of small advantages they get to have. Whereas I had no idea they had Dream Eater. I don't know that they have two counter spells. You know, like, there's... Eh, what are you going to do? Probably Muse Drake here into Goblin or into uh, actually, maybe we just put more power on the board. Could be Electromancer into Goblin. Although, if we draw a land, we can play Informant and yeah, let's do that. Okay, sounds good. Like, if we hit a land, we can play two two cards next turn, which is nice. Well, I mean, the, the, it's, it's it's different than, like, we enter the queue at the same time, right? Like, if like if I'm, if, you, if you know I'm in the queue and you've seen my entire deck and, like, you know what I have. I don't know. I'm not mad or anything. It's just... You were working as a waitress on cock. Nope, no land. All right. Back. Back to the old drawing board. Tempted to just play Demir Informant here, but I think our odds of hitting a land is fine. This guy. Ha <laughs> ha. 
and pictures of Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah, people really appreciate the Spider-Man pictures. Oh, wow. You know, Sinister to sabotage that guy. Okay. You got it. That is fine. Yep. Still don't have a land. <sighs> I think we want both of these. Because if we draw a guild mage next turn, we can play both, and that gives us a lot of guys on the board. And then the land after that lets us cast Blaze. Because of the Electromancer. This is where they have Dream Eater, so we just don't get to actually play anything, I'm sure. Any big plans for my weekend? None at all. Literal zero. Feeding these pets. Just going to pass, so I don't have to walk into EOT Dream Eater. Okay, that's fine. I didn't tap anything. That is significantly better than a Dream Eater. Return a creature. I guess they can get Dowser of Lights back, which is actually not terrible for us. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They have three ground blockers. Okay. So we put them to one here. One, two, three, they block with all three. They go block here, block here, block here. So that doesn't get anything through. Alternatively, we could have hit this guy, but this feels better. Especially because any spell is lethal. I'll put them to two, I guess. That's different than one. <laughs> you got it. Well, these are both lethal now. And one of them is lethal with any spell. Oh, they put one on top. Three cards. They might just not have an answer to We Dragonauts. Maybe. Come on, buddy. Lost to the Go Wide is a deck. Lol. Good games. <laughs> oh, good times. Good times. I mean, these guys are not actually doing anything. You're pretty even here. This is just two floaters that you're getting hit with. Crawl Swarm. I mean, they're not dead yet, right? They're not dead, though, right? Like, they have blockers for everything. 
They go to one. We were drawn. Okay, well, that's a perfect draw. Bounce a floaty boy. Yep, all right. I've never seen you lose to a sub now that I think. Is that true? I bet I, bet I have. I bet I have. I was working as a waitress in a cocktail bar. When I met you. Good games, Atomic Frog. Good games, buddy. GG's. G's McG's. Beer Man Man, are you still at work right now? Is that... Is that what's going on in your life? Still at work, got something to submit, and then I'm officially at zero. Uh, that's actually great. Wow, that's insane. Zero bugs for... I, I assume it's for the same project that uh, I would expect it to be for. But zero bugs sounds like an insane... Uh, accomplishment. Them grasses be looking zero bugs is the baseline I strive for. Yeah, that's good. Interesting. We're going to this guy because it shuts this dude down hard. You cannot convince me otherwise. Wow. Yikes. Yikes. I was working as a waitress in your face. Eh? Next Friday starts a crazy week for me. Took the whole week off. First the game release, then spoopy holiday party, then actual Halloween, then BlizzCon. John, are you going to be at BlizzCon? Do I get to see you at BlizzCon, buddy? Can we meet up? I haven't seen you since GP Orlando. What is this goblin banner into wall of mist? Are you the funny stream man who I should be intimidated by? <laughs> I'm the first part, but not the second part. I love that Blizzard is still trying to recruit you. That's actually hilarious to me. Either way, that didn't answer my question, that, that we can hang out. I'm trying to get a cube draft together on Thursday and Monday, or Sunday, rather. So if you're available on those days, I would love to have you for cube draft, buddy. I think I have your info, but I also, I also Facebook messaged you, so... Um, I don't know what to do. I think it's probably Leapfrog here. Or, alternatively, we play this Electromancer, and next turn we can play this guy and keep this up. I will be there if you want a random person for Q, I'm down. Chris Madden, yeah, definitely. Um, We can have, like, a bunch of people from the... You're going to BlizzCon? So unfair, I can't afford it. Cost. Okay, well, yes, you're also not in, in the U.S., so that is definitely a, uh, a much higher bar for you to attend. I only The only reason I go, I would, I've would i never went before last year, but my friend Mike works at Blizzard, and he gets tickets, obviously, because I think all Blizzard employees get, like, three tickets um, for friends and family. And so he's he got, he got me a ticket last year, he got me a ticket this year, and 
Um, we're rooming with him and his brother and my friend Chris. So. An hour and a half drive is like nothing. That's like nothing. That's like my drive from Orlando, basically. Be more specific. You know, Mike. Come on, everybody knows Mike. Why is this an 04, not an 05? It matches up so poorly against the uh, default is it big idiot. Taylor, I learned I want to work at Blizz. Really? That's that's what did it for you? The BlizzCon tickets? That feels implied. Hour and a half is close to 90 minutes. Yeah, it's similar, but it's not, not you know, it's a little bit different. It's exactly the same. I have a feeling she's not an old lady. This is not an old lady of 62. That's my bet. That's my that's where I'm putting my money on. Oh, uh, it's in Anaheim, I think so. I'm flying into LAX. It's at the Anaheim Convention Center, so the answer is yes. I think this is actually fine. It's not how is that judgment? That's not judgment. Judgment would imply I, I made some sort of uh, derogatory assumption based on that. I, I'm just saying I don't think that they are that. I'm just literally determining. That's not a judgment. That's a determination. Or an, or an assumption, rather. But none of it's negative. I, too, will sinister sabotage. I'm going to do the O-face. All right, resolve that thing. Who's the person in stream who says they're your grandma? That's that's too, that's too Keely. Uh, I'm gonna put this in the graveyard. I feel like we can get another. I mean, of course, the top card is going to be um, the second. The next card is gonna be a Niv Mizzet, so we're gonna feel real dumb about putting this mountain in the graveyard. But you know, that's life, I guess. Eh, it's a six drop, nonetheless. I will keep that guy. I don't know why I said. What am I going to keep? What was my alternative? Throw it in the trash can? Of course I'm going to keep it. Of course I'm going to keep it. I don't care about lock it. God, I do like this. I do like this guy though. I think it's good enough to keep. Oh, uh, yeah, we don't have any profitable attacks here, unfortunately. They could pump this to a 5, attack with this guy, and that's a 5-4. It's not great for us. I still don't know what I want to eat, so if you guys have any food suggestions, make them now or forever hold your food suggestions to yourselves. Which would be really selfish of you because some people got to eat. Some people need their dinners. Not me, per se, but you know, some people do. Okay, that seems fine. Tacos, pot pie. Tacos is what I'm leaning towards. No beats, how was your Pizza Hut experience? Do you have any Dinty More available? Preferably Grandpa Turkey. Is that what the meal's called? The Dinty More Grandpa Turkey? I just had a pub sub yesterday, actually, so that's I'm gonna veto that one. Also, Publix would not be uh, the the deli would not be open by the time I'm done here, so. Oh, pad thai sounds good. Pad thai sounds real good. Unfortunately, the vegan, vegetarian uh, Thai place I go to, because they don't use fish sauce or oyster sauce, which is weird to me, uh, closes at 8 o'clock. God. 
I'll be honest, not good. Oh man, that's so sad. I always really liked Pizza Hut because it was kind of like, it was kind of in the middle of deep dish and regular pizza. Like it had this fluffy, buttery crust, which was delicious, but like, for some reason it wasn't great. Oh, that was a good land. All right, we're coming back at you. Let's see what happens. Don't do anything crazy here. Yeah, it's the pan pizza flavor. It's so buttery and flaky and delicious. Just drive around so you find something by the side of the road. Although as a vegetarian, you might not be on the road into the roadkill as much. Yeah, that's fair. That sounds... Yeah, the, he's really loud. After Pizza Hut stopped having cherry peppers as a topping, I couldn't eat a Pizza Hut anymore either. I was just like, I'm out. You've burned me for the last time, Pizza Hut. Well, if they don't do any shenanigans here, we're definitely going to draw a card, which is so nice. <clears throat> not what we're looking for that's what we're looking for that's your boy it's your dragon boy at least that's what the kids tell me what are you gonna do you tap this down you sonic assault again no okay yes no okay They kept giving me free pizza and I just can't anymore. I'm done. You can take your free pizza and hit the bricks, Pizza Hut. I just want to make sure we're not dead if they have like Sonic Assault EOT, Sonic Assault again, Sonic Assault again. Like we'd be at 12, we'd lose three guys, we'd have two blockers. One of them is, yeah, these, yeah, I guess we're all right. Remember that time I was like, it's okay, we'll just get past the Niv Mizzet because it's really hard to cast. And then we got past a Niv Mizzet. This is how you do it, guys. This is how you do it. You just, you just do it like this. Oh, the, the best answer to Niv Mizzet there is. Draw a card. Shoot this dude. So we, we traded a Goblin Bombardment and an Escapable Blaze, and we drew a card for a Niv-Mizzet. That's pretty good. That's a three for one. A three for, as the kids say. This deals seven. It also puts them to six, which is nice. Oh, my God. He's so loud. Here we go. Oh. Uh, how do we double blaze? I don't think you know. I don't think that works the way you think it works. Yeah, the second guild badge ability says copy target instant or sorcery spell with converted mana cost X. So we need seven mana from the guild mage and six mana for this. So. <laughs> If you guys think it costs one mana to copy this, wow, that would be insane. Actually, so this would be seven and this would be six, but this is actually going to be, this is going to be seven because this is not going to get reduced. Uh, Maybe, I don't know, it's either, it's either, this definitely gets reduced, so this is five and this is seven, so it's either 12 or 11 mana. I mean... Yeah, I'm just like, wow, you think I miss lethal because this is one mana to copy any spell. That's really good. Chat lethal, guys. Chat lethal.
That's true. Yeah, in a few turns, I'll just be like, it's perfect. Uh, this should be lethal if this guy doesn't die. I think you're going to Sonic Assault here, though. Um, bottom. Actually, we, I could put this in the graveyard as well, which would be super nice. Because now we can either Insight or we can lead Guild Mage. Probably just going to lead Guild Mage draw a card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have nine mana. We can wait till we have three more mana and then double blaze. 420 double blaze it, as the kids say. We also have uh, 15 cards in our deck. And I think we I think we milled this and milled these two. So we milled three to four cards. So we've actually drawn about six extra cards this game. Probably three from this, one from Niv. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Any advice, comments would be needed anytime, please. Um... I don't have any insight yet. I don't think he did anything wrong. Sure. Play more mics. Every day is Michael Sunday. Thank you. Kapow. What just happened? Bubbles the Tormentor, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. The Dutch law states weed is illegal, but we allow it. Canada said it's illegal. We sell the stuff and make easy money. Yeah, like, I mean... America's really dumb. I don't really think we're playing anything differently here. We did see a wall. We could bring an invert invent, but I don't care about that. <laughs> Happy to see you're still on. Just got home from purchasing a force level for my cube. Nicely done. Nicely done. That is a solid card. Weed needs to be illegal again. I spent a lot of money on <laughs> I spent a lot of money on Wednesday. Dear God. I'm enjoying adult beverages. I think people should be allowed to enjoy adult plants. I agree with you. That's a dessert pizza? I can dig it. Wait, that was a different... Yeah, this hand seems good. I'm okay with it. Connor Ryan, where do you live? My dad's. He doesn't live at his dad's house. He's an adult buying his own weed. Oh, what up, McGimp? I was just actually talking to people about how I'm going to BlizzCon with you next uh, couple weeks. This stream never fails to bring a smile to my... That's all I can ask for. That's all. It's like the cars would say. That's all I can do. I 
Oh, PEI. Nice. Nice. That's nice. Uh, that's a nice little spot. I don't know why I said it like that. That was a weird little British accent I did for someone in Prince Edward Island. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. I'm, uh, eh, what are you going to do? Thanks. Brutal Mustache 2. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I bet your mustache isn't that brutal. Unless brutal is a good thing, in which case it's probably the most brutal. Cars reference. Take my sub. Well, that's all I can do. To keep waiting for you. Because you're all I've got tonight. You're all I've got tonight. If, the Cars are one of the greatest American bands ever, just to be clear. Rick Ocasek is... That is a solid front man. <laughs> that's true that's what I should do let's only attack with this guy because drawing a card here seems better than 2 damage never putting that in the graveyard ever also we definitely want to draw a card now because we want to hit them lands so are you going to stream while at BlizzCon? probably not I don't I, I don't like <laughs> setting my laptop up and having only one monitor is really awkward because I've never felt better about using my Prime sub. I think I found a home. Welcome. I appreciate it. Your name is also excellent, by the way. And I'm sorry that someone took Brutal Mustache without the two because you deserve it. It's okay. <clears throat> you can just be that sequel that's better than the original. I was gonna say something. What was I gonna say? Oh, I was gonna say I would look. I don't have any. I don't. I'm not opposed to streaming when I'm there. Um, mostly I just don't like doing it on one monitor because it's hard to check chat, and it's hard to uh, like the the quality is not as good, and I have to set it up on my laptop so that like I have to get all the dimensions correct. It's just a hassle. I could set it up beforehand if you want to do that, and I, it is possible to have the stream up on like an iPad, have an iPad sitting next to my laptop so I can check the chat on that. Oh, funny story actually. I'm looking for a, I'm looking forward to a brutal mustache story now. You're the Empire Strikes Back of there you go. That's nice. Godfather 2 is also better than Godfather 1. Oh, risk factor in the graveyard. Oh, that's right. They do have the streaming stations there. That is interesting. Well, a land would be nice here. If it's not a land, it's going in the can. Not a land? You go, oh, that's actually such a good, that's such a good hit. Oh, my heavens to Betsy. Oh, we're hitting a land now, boys. Get rid of this dumb wall. Just, just barely made it. I'll have to go home. I'll catch you if you're still on when I get home. Mike, have a good night, buddy. I will talk to you later, I'm sure. As I always do. If it's not a land, it's going in the can. That was a good quote. I'm glad you guys appreciate that. Oh, I like this. Lava coil this guy. Keep up... Sister... Sinister... Sinister Christian over here. Counter in... What's your price for flight? Do I just keep this? It's so good. Now we need lands. We have enough. We have like tons of things. Oh, I like it. I like that I'm going to be your car entertainment. Did we get mustache? This, did we get uh, brutal mustaches story yet? I'm waiting. You better be typing. You better be typing Brutal Mustache. Okay, I do have Brutal Mustache, but it was banned from the MTG Jurassic Risk Care on Time Moosey's. Really? That's a weird thing to, like, get banned for. What kind of hair product do you use? 
banned. Okay. Uh, let's actually attack first. We can again keep Sinister Sabotage up. Oh, no. Oh, don't do it. We're having a good time. Okay. Did you get banned from Twitch or banned from the magic stream? I guess if you're banned from the magic stream, you don't get to... That's so weird. What kind of hair products do you use? It makes your hair look majestic, but it makes your content look like shit. Uh, I actually used uh, two two separate uh, clays. One is uh, Baxter of California, which comes in a little glass container. It's very nice. And the other is a new one I'm trying. It's called Blue Man. Uh, I'm going to take four here. I can link to those in the chat if you guys would like it. I did not expect a legit answer. To, a lot of some people are actually curious. It's kind of funny. Some people are like, "No, I was really want to know." I think a bunch of people were trolling him, and I got caught. Yeah, that makes sense. I think that actually happens. I also think they're way too. Uh, too hasty with the with the banning in that channel. Um, I don't know what cookie do is. Wallada, what's going on, buddy? Hmm. Cookie Dew is a new Mountain Dew flavor. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. It's uh, it's not a good one. Nope, that ain't gonna work. Yeah, we're just gonna run this dude out here because YOLO. Also, if we hit any other land, <clears throat> um, we get to play this guy and keep this up. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's pretty good. God, it's getting late, guys. I really want to finish these games so I can go get food before it all closes down. Sounds disgusting. It is. It's actually disgusting. I could pound a 12 pack of cookie dew right now, but I quit drinking pop like three months ago and my wife will Oh, I like that you said pop. That gives me a, I like that I can tell your location from where you, what you call soda. What's my spaghetti policy? Um, oh, this is nice. Yikes. Shoot you, shoot you boy. Uh, my spaghetti policy is pretty pretty loose. I have a pretty loose spaghetti policy. I accept a lot of spaghettes. A couple of sodi pops. Uh, I'm probably just going to discard Mountain here. Yeah, I don't care about that. You're all I've got to really now I have a... Uh, you can end up at the Waffle House at this rate. It's not looking good. It's going to be Denny's or the Waffle House. It's not looking... I, we have a Perkins... Perkins is, like, real close, so I could just go to the Perkins. I'll just go to the Perkins. We're at 12? Man, I didn't think we were that low. I guess we could actually just play one of these guys and keep up a counter spell. They have two cards in hand, though. Um, I'm going to play conservatively because I don't want to lose to something stupid. Yeah, you're fine. You ain't hurting anybody up there. Chad takes his Waffle House game pretty seriously, I guess. Alright, here we go. 
Yeah, Denny's is not something that if you wait a long time for, then go have it, you're going to be impressed with. It's never going to be like, oh, I need to go check out the Denny's. I've been hearing so much about it, I have to go right now and get me that Grand Slam or that Moons Over My Hammy. Now, usually you just go and you're like, that was food. That was food that I ate. I'm less hungry now than I was. So, uh, I ate that food and I'm done now. Oh, the old Wagfo house. That's, that guy's, that guy cannot attack here. That guy gets lonely. He needs, he needs a friend. <laughs> Denny's, you'll be less hungry than you were. You can't, this guy can't do it. He can't do what you want him to do. You're all I've got tonight. I will shoot your face. There, a mistake. <laughs> We're having a good time. Ah, uh, great, good. Guaranteed to have at least 5% of your daily recommended dose of calories. At least 5%. That seems low. Alright, so now we're gonna... We're gonna blast the old face arena. Kapow. And I get to draw another card? My god, Niv Miz, it's OP. Funny story, my wife used to always get Denny's after doctor visits. Today, my wife took her almost 70-year-old mother to the doctor and asked her toward the end of the appointment if she would like to go to Denny's. Apparently, my mother-in-law got super excited. That's that's adorable. That's the cutest thing I've ever heard. Oh, all gone, all gone. You're all I've got tonight. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon and Twitch. You can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore if you want a sweet 15% off of uh, comfortable lounge pants, socks, tees, underwear, all that kind of goodness. They are super soft micromodal fabric, and uh, you get free shipping in return. So check that out as well if you want to support the stream. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you next time.